All right, the next type in the dirty dozen is, of course, the function. Uh, if you remember, functions are, that's the time travel thing. So if I have a graph, this x axis represents the, uh, the domain versus the range. So if you have to do domain versus range, say I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, 2, and 5, 1. These are my domains right here. So my domains would be 4, 7, and 5. So 4, 5, and 7, should I say? The ranges would be 1, 2, 6, and 8. Those are the ranges. Now, uh, in order to look at to tell if they're a function or not, I'm going to graph them. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then at 5, I'm at 1. And at 5, I'm also at 6. Right here. Uh, at 7, I'm at 8. So that's probably up here somewhere. And at 4, I'm at 2. So right there. Then I'm going to do what's called the vertical line test. So I'm going to draw my lines through and see if I run into two problems at once. And there it is. If I could draw a straight line, I would hit this one and this one at the same time. As you can see, at the same exact moment in time, this person is in two different places. And you know that that breaks the rules of time travel. And thus, this fails being a function. It is not a function. However, if I had changed this around to where I had done, let's say, 3 and 6 instead of this 5, 1 up here, so this goes away. So here's 5 and 6, here's 7 and 8, here's 3 and 6, and here's 4 and 2. In this case, everything works out fine. So you can have two people, or in different times, you are allowed to go to the same place. You were in school last Friday, most of you, or at least last Thursday, and you're here now, so it's okay to do that. But just make sure that each n x value only has one y value. Now, um, different, y, different y values can go with different x values, that's okay. But if you have an x with uh, more than one y, that breaks the rules of time travel and thus is not a function. Now, the good news is a lot of the questions on the end of course test are just tell us which one is not a function. So you're going to use the old vertical line test. This one perfectly passes. Just look at the grid lines. This one, A-OK. -okay. This one, just fine. Unfortunately, this one fails all the way through. He's in all places in the single time. So I guess he's going the speed of light, according to Einstein. But he violates the rules of... Uh, being a function, so he is not a function. Now, for your question, I would like you to look at number 65 in this practice book that you don't have in front of you, so I'm going to try to back it out a little bit. Now, you have one and a half, or say one minute, to determine which graph represents a relation that is not a function. <laughs> 